Hello guys, Mr. G here and we are going to be making another video for the grade 8 learners. Here, last, last time, in the last video, we stopped right here. We learned about the periodic table, we color the periodic table um, and separated the element in three main groups. Those groups were metals, not metals and semi-metals. Those were the groups we separated the periodic table. We learned that the periodic table have groups with starting from 1 and ending in 18 and it have periods starting in 1 and ending in 7 which are the rows of the table. Today we're going to be focusing a little bit more into details of the atom. So we're going to learn how does the atom look like and how to draw atoms and in the upcoming video then we're going to show you a, a video game that you can learn how to uh, draw atoms and how to represent atoms. So subatomic particles. Now atoms don't have, atoms are not solid uh, substances, so solid uh, particles. They have different parts. For example, the central part of the atom is going to be called the nucleus. Okay, and in the nucleus they are going to be different particles. So in the nucleus you are going to find a particle called protons and you will find particles called neutrons protons and neutrons the protons have a charge positive so if we represent protons will be a circle they are very very tiny particles with a positive inside so this is how we represent a proton they are positively charged the protons are positively charged the neutrons won't have any charge. So if we represent the a neutron, it will be a circle with no charge. The neutrons will not have any charge. So this is how to represent that one. Now around the nucleus you will find electrons which are negative charge moving. So electrons will be spinning around the nucleus and the electrons are negative negative charge a negative charge um, let's say particles and if we represent them then the electrons could be represented like this one with a negative inside and the electrons are uh, much smaller than protons and note those electrons are going to be spinning around the nucleus now those electrons are going to be in some place called the energy levels. Those electrons are going to be allocated in something that we are going to call energy level, like the um, orbits of the planets around the nucleus. It's not exactly like that, but we can have an idea if we look it or thinking like that. And we are going to be having three different energy levels. So, for example, we can represent here three energy levels. Those are three big circles, okay? Now, no, the first, the, the first energy level is the one that is closer to the center. That is the first energy level. And it can only hold two electrons. So this one is very important, only two electrons. It cannot hold more than two electrons, all right? So please, if there are three electrons, then it must go to the second energy level. And the first energy level, remember it that one now. The second energy level is the one that is coming afterward. You don't have to draw all of them. You're going to draw one, and then if you need, you do you draw the second one. This is the second energy level. <coughs> Sorry. And then that one can hold up to eight electrons so up to eight electrons right it can hold up to it can hold less but not more than eight so if there are more than eight electrons you have to go to the last energy level we're going to be doing here and that energy level is energy level three all right or third energy level
which also can hold eight electrons. So here it can hold up to eight electrons. Up to, it doesn't mean it can have less, but not more. All right? So that is very, very important. So all this on here is very important, guys. You have to remember all that because we're going to start now drawing atoms. Now, before we draw atoms, where do we find out the number of electrons and protons? You may ask, right? So we are going to go to the periodic table. And here we are, our periodic table, the one we colored before. You can see here, this, this little, little number is the number, number of the uh, atoms, atoms or elements, elements in the periodic table. For instance, this one, if you move to the stream, you see two, three, four, and so on. This one is the order of the elements in the, in the periodic table. This number is called atomic number, guys. It is written here on top in your periodic table. So make sure you highlight it. It's quite important. That is uh, the atomic number. There we go. You can see the better. And the atomic number will give you the number of protons and electrons. Number of protons and electrons. That is very, very important. You can write that note somewhere. So if we go for hydrogen, for instance, it has number one. Therefore, it has one proton and one electron. If you go to helium here in this corner, it has number two. So it has two protons and two electrons and so on. Lithium has three, beryllium has four and, and so on up until the end. We are not going to go so far. So we'll, you will be able to drop until potassium right here or perhaps calcium. You don't have to draw more because then it's a little bit more complicated. OK, so that is important. And I'm going to write that note right here. So the atomic number, the atomic number is going to give you the number of protons and electron. Now you may ask, what about the neutrons? All right. For now, we are going to use the same number of protons and uh, neutrons. But it's not exactly that. Sometimes substances may have more um, neutrons than protons or less neutrons than protons. It does not really matter right now. For now, we're going to use the same for neutrons. The same for neutrons. So for neutrons and protons, it's going to be the same. And let's, let's see one example right now. Now is the time for one example. And so if we're going to do, for example, beryllium, we the first thing we have to do is to go to the periodic table and search for beryllium. In this case, beryllium is the element number four, right? So if it's four, it means that it have four protons and four electrons. And we are going to write four uh, neutrons as well. So it has four of everything so now we're going to draw first of all the nucleus now in the nucleus you have the four protons so let's draw the four protons first of all and the in is the four protons now let's let's draw the four neutrons remember all those are in the nucleus and here we have the nucleus of beryllium there are the four protons and the four neutrons now what is coming the electron for the electrons we first need to draw a energy level now we always draw the first energy level m in first now let's go here quickly and recall in the first energy level i can only place two electrons however i have four so i'm going to place the two electrons first here so there i have my two electrons however i need two more so if i need more then i'm going to go to the next energy level and in the next le energy level i place up to eight but i only have two left so that is what i'm going to place there and there are my two electrons so guys this is how to draw atoms i'm not going to draw more i hope you understand you can now try and draw another one any other one from the first uh, 20 you cannot go further than 20 please now next video we're going to be using minecraft we're going to build some um, atoms using minecraft we're going to play there so don't miss next video thank you for watching next time i'll see you and um, ask question if you have any message here